Hello and welcome back to the channel Dan Who Reviews. My name is of course Dan W. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Now first I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who has interacted with this channel whether it be subscribing, watching a video, leaving a comment, hitting that like button. Every single person who has interacted thank you so much to you as I have now hit over a thousand subscribers months before my initial target of doing that. Uh, one of my videos even hit over a hundred thousand views which is ridiculous but much much appreciated. Thank you so much. The more views and comments and interactions I get in the videos the more uh, inspiration and encouragement it does for me to give you more content uh, from this normal guy normal British guy's opinion uh, so thank you to everyone who is enjoying the content and reviews obviously lots more to come I have the A Force box set coming to me very very soon so I'm going to do reviews of every single figure in that box set and who is she segments of course for anyone who doesn't know some of the characters so that's something to look forward to uh, I don't think we're going to get many other Marvel Legends wave this year until maybe Christmas so let me know if there's any other figures and stuff you want me to review uh, but yes this is the perfect time to ask those questions as this is my collection slash display video well the first one for this channel anyway uh, so I'm going to obviously cut to myself just showing you on display as I've brought some new display cabinets and whatnot uh, as I just wanted to sort of show you what I've started to do it's not finished but I thought what's the point of showing you the finished thing it'll be best to show you the progress so you can follow me on my journey so uh, yeah, leave some questions in this video as my next video is going to be a Q&A only video. So if you have ever wanted to ask me a question, then now is your time as every single question asked in this video in the comment sections of this video. So leave me a comment underneath this video and I will be answering it and giving you a shout out in the next video. So my next video is just going to be shout outs and answering questions. So if you want to know any of my opinions or have any questions about TV, comic books, books, films, action figures obviously, uh, personal questions within reason, then this is the place to ask them as every single question asked in the comments of this video or my Instagram post, which I'll probably do it, it's Dan Who, um, I will be answering in the next video. So yeah, enough of that, let's cut to myself showing you the first setup for 2017. Enjoy. Pow, so here we go, as promised. Here is my collection video, my first one on the channel. Uh, so thank you to everyone as I have now hit over a thousand subscribers and a lot of people have asked to see my collection. Now I very recently bought these two bookshelves and this is now the part of the living room that the girlfriend hates. But this is my house, so my rules. And yeah, I've started throwing up some figures onto the shelves. Definitely not gonna stay like this. I've just sort of piled them up at the minute. Still lots of figures to display, as you can see. Uh, but I thought if I put everything out perfectly now, then there'd be no need for another collection update in a few months time. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, I'll show you what I've got. As you can see, a few different selections, a bit of a dio, but I'll start from the top, work my way down. And um, so yeah, here we go. Uh, no surprise to what my favourite section is. Turn the lights on, as you can see, lights. Uh, my MCU selection. So, uh, top shelf, MCU figures. Uh, love the MCU. I think the MCU fi uh, figures are amazing. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Obviously, we're moving to Avengers. There is Ant-Man just sitting on Captain America's shield. And yeah, happy days. A uh, couple of extra figures in the back there. Um, obviously I've got a double of Star-Lord. I'm going to probably have another one when I buy that Ego 2-pack. Um, as a Tony Stark and then the Astro version. Astro version of this man there, Doctor Strange. But yeah, MCU figures on the top shelf. Tom Holland, Spider-Man. And yeah, so I like that I've got the light on the top. It looks good. My plan is to hopefully have lights on all of the shelves eventually. Uh, on the top, very top. Again, no, these ain't posed in any special way. These are just the recent figures I've got. So we've got the four Ragnarok Guardians of the Galaxy. No lighting up here, so I do apologize. It's a bit dim. Um, so yeah, four Ragnarok MCU figures. And then we got the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming figures. Now I've got both Spider-Mans on stands and I've made these webs myself. I don't know how well you can see them with the camera, but yeah, they're just made out of um, sort of bendy, white bendy wire. But yeah, it does the job. And then obviously the Vulture Builder figure at the back. 
Um, so yeah, let's move down to this section. Now this is probably my favorite section. My self-made Hall of Armor. Now Iron Man, Mr. Tony Stark himself is my favorite MCU and Marvel character. Um, so I thought I had to have a shelf that showed off his Hall of Armor. Now this is all made out of foam. Um, if I do get enough interest, please leave me a comment in this video and I will post up uh, a sort of progress video of how I made this dial. As I did film uh, a couple of minutes every time I completed a certain stage. Uh, but yeah, this is all made out of foam, custom made uh, Hall of Armor sort of segments. And they're all, they're not all MCU armors, but they are all Marvel Legend armors. Obviously that Tony Stark is a SH figure arts Tony Stark from the Iron Man 3 film. We got the um, Avengers Wave uh, Builder figure, Hulk Buster, so it's the better paint job. Mark 46, Mark 47, uh, the helmet from the Mark 47 two pack. A couple of shield files and whatnot. I got these printouts online. Um, I usually had, I think I've posed Tony holding them at some point, but every each one of these, these are 1 12th scale. And you probably can't tell with the focus going blurry, but every page has got writing on it. And then these blueprints are actual um, blueprints for Tony Stark as well. Again, just a little <laughs> little touch. I like the little details though. I do like the details. Uh, the dio is not perfect. I do not claim to be an expert dio maker, but it does fit perfectly within the shelf. It does display all of the figures. And yeah, it's my pride and joy. And it does look better when the lights are on, if you know what I mean. So uh, yeah, hopefully we get lots more Iron Men, different style armors to come. And I'm very tempted to get the SH Figure Arts Iron Men Hall of Armor figures that are coming out slowly. I think uh, Mark 1 and Mark 2 are coming out, Mark 5 and yeah, don't quote me on because I always get them wrong while I'm on camera. So yeah, MCU sort of section in this vicinity. Uh, moving down, we just got X-Men again, no particular order, just threw a load of X-Men in there. Um, so yeah, don't need to tell you what the character names are. I think the shelf is a little bit too small, so you've got people like uh, Colossus and Cable, like sort of bendy, bending down. We've got Beast, the Toy Biz Beast still stands up today uh, with all these figures. These are all Hasbro apart from the Toy Biz Beast. Uh, I do have a review on him, uh, so check out the videos for the review. But uh, I should have reviews on most of these guys if they come out this year. Uh, to be fair, not all of them did, but all the same. Uh, Logan hiding there at the back, but I do prefer that version of Wolverine. Maybe one day we will get the Tiger Stripe Wolverine. Who knows? Um, and let's move across, shall we, to over here. So this is the second. This doesn't have any lights on, so I do apologise. It's going to be a bit dark. Uh, but this is sort of just my, was my villain builder figure shelf, but now it's just got a load of random figures on. I knew you need to sort it out, but... Couple of Mandroids at the back, you can't see them at all. Dormammu, Juggernaut, Man Thing, Warlock. Couple of uh, uh, Ultrons there. There's the movie Ultron. I've made that Thanos throne myself. Um, again, you'll probably find that Thanos throne. Let me see if I can turn the light up. Um, I have done a couple of videos showing off that Thanos throne online. Um, but if you want to see a closer look, then let me know. Just made out of foam. Uh, but yeah, some more MCU sort of style figures there. Um, Loki, I do prefer this Loki, but the head scan is not great. There's the MCU, well I think it's an MCU um, Red Skull. Then obviously the more recent Thor rave with uh, the female Thor, Odin, Cern, Ares at the back, Angela, we've got Odin. Titus is at the back there, if you can see him, along with Red Onslaught. Yeah, just random figures. I do want to, I wanted to army build these guys, but they're really expensive and really hard to get. So if anyone has any of these guys, they want to sell me at reasonable price, then get in touch. I do want some more um, Ultrons from the free pack. Uh, moving down to some more MCU figures. Again, I do plan on building a Dio in this, this shelf, the same way I have here, but maybe like a street scene where I can have these guys because I love the MCU and Netflix figures, Jessica Jones. Daredevil, Punisher, Elektra, and then we get the free pack of nah, Agent Coulson, um, Nick Fury, Maria Hill, and if you've noticed that um, 
is like an invisible shield because in the Age of Ultron, not Age of Ultron, in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, TV show, uh, spoiler alert, but Coulson now has like a metal hand, a robot hand, and he can pull out this shield like in the comics. And I managed to get one. I can't remember the seller's name, but I'll put it in the comments uh, if you want to know. Uh, but yeah, I thought that looked pretty cool. And then some just effects over here that I've put with some figures that sort of needed them. Uh, Electro, obviously, with some lightning effects. Even though the lightning effects we got with his hands were blue, I sort of just used the fisted effects. Um, I can't remember if they were the ones packed in with him or I've used them from a different figure. I can't remember. Uh, and yeah, obviously, we've got um, Ghost Rider with some flames and his articulated chain. I'm not going to start touching it now because it will all fall apart, but that's an articulated chain, which I do like. appreciate the pose. And it looks so much better when it's on fire. Uh, moving down to a sort of Marvel Knight sort of shelf slash Spider-Man. And I'm not, again, not perfectly organised this, but a couple of the younger Avengers there. Nova, Miles Morales, Miss um, Marvel, Black Cat, one of the first Marvel Legends I got, believe it or not. Uh, Silk, one of the best looking female Marvel Legends, if that doesn't sound creepy. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm not a massive fan of the Spider-Verse. Like for me, there's only one Spider-Man and it's Peter Parker, it's this guy here. Um, and this is in his new suit and I have literally got every single comic from the new line of Amazing Spider-Man from about 2015 so I do like that I have that suit um, in figure form. I do like the Spider-Man 2099 as well, obviously UK rep in Captain Britain back there, brat brat. Um, comic version, Iron Fist and Daredevil, we're going to get these new sort of versions in the Amazon exclusive box set. I've gave the old Punisher jacket to Blade, so now he's wearing a, blade, a jacket, but that is Blade, obviously Punisher. Bullseye's at the back there, amongst the heroes, um, doing a gun trigger fingers, gun trigger fingers, oh look his gun's bent, whoops. Missy Knight who always falls over, if you've watched Defenders then you know what's coming people, I'm not going to say nothing. Uh, Hellcat, which again is uh, going to be Trish. I am telling you right now, you're going to see Hellcat reference in, in Jessica Jones season two, I promise you. Dark Hawk and Moon Knight. And then moving down, obviously one of the best rogue galleries in comic book history. Obviously, probably only compared to uh, Batman from DC Comics, but it is Spider Man's rogue gallery, which is all the villains. Uh, again, my favourite cartoon growing up was, uh, well, Marvel cartoon anyway, was the Spider Man cartoon um, from the 90s so that's how I know most of these characters we've got superior foes sort of lingering at the back there Silvermane's head uh, Craven probably one of my favorite Marvel legends right there so good um, Hobgoblin um, Green Goblin Rhino Chameleon who for me is like the secret boss of all this like without obviously having a kingpin then I do think Chameleon could be the boss of everyone Tombstone his daughter back there uh, the Jackal I like these three as a team I might uh, rebrand the rage regime range rage regime old school instagram followers will know what i'm on about with that uh yeah a couple of builder figures sandman absorbed man uh venom we need an updated um carnage in my opinion also because my hand's broken i've had to glue it back on but don't tell anyone and then the ultimate green goblin and beetle at the back uh well not the ultimate beetle but uh, you know what i mean you can't see him, he's in the dark, but still. Again, so yeah, that is what I have on display MCU-wise. I do have boxes, which I'll get to in a minute, but I thought I'd quickly just go across. What else have I got MCU? Okay, not MCU, but Marvel-esque anyway. Again, I'm not doing no editing in this, so I'm just literally, whoops. There you go, as I say that, my microphone falls off. Anyway, so here we have my prison diorama. Um, now, it's just a little fun setup to be fair, but I don't know how well it's gonna show, but I have lights on all the cells. I think they might be broken to be fair. If I can get one to work here, yeah, I think they're all broke. I think I left them on by accident, the batteries are dead. Yeah, batteries are dead. But they did all have lights on, so that all the cells lit up individually, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, and there's a little tiny scene going on here. There's a uh, Zemo and a couple of Hydra agents. They seem to have captured one of the shield guys. Uh, what's going on? They're taking over the prison. As you can see, the prisoners are starting to escape. There's Machine Man. He's got hold of a shield agent. This guy's starting to clock something's going wrong. 
these villains know they're getting broken out. Blizzard, uh, Barack, I've probably said his name. Barack, I can't remember his name. Uh, that's, um, oh, what's his name? I can't remember his name on the top of my head, but he's in there. Wolverine, that's it. And then in here, you're not gonna be able to see because it's too dark, but Abomination is in there. And these prison doors do come off. But again, I'm not gonna do it now because it will ruin the display. But as you can see, Brian Zemo, interrogating this shield agent who is literally held up off the floor from these hydra guys because who are they trying to escape none other than red skull and he's where well that's a custom red skull in a i think it's a star wars figure outfit i think general hooks i could be wrong um i'm not a star wars super nerd so i don't remember but i've seen a custom red skull and that figure looked really good so yeah Red Skull's getting broken out by, uh, obviously, he's paid Zemo to get him out. And then uh, these guys are all going to get out as well. Uh, that is just, again, use your imagination, people. I'm only playing along. But yeah, Blizzard, Barack, uh, Wolverine, and then um, Machine Man. Why would they lock him up with their powers still intact? Like, he's got his blades up, for God's sake. Stupid shield agents. But yeah, anyway, that's my custom... Um, I didn't build this for this shelf, that's why it's not perfectly fit, but for now it will stay like that. I was going to sell this diorama, but it's grew on me um, as one of my first big ones myself. But yeah, so as you can see, nothing on that shelf, probably going to be another diorama, uh, but not too sure yet what it's going to be. Uh, or maybe I'll get another shelf, a couple of shelves. And then here we have uh, Ash Ketchum and some of the Pokemon. Now, I'm a... I was born in the late 80s, so I grew up playing the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue in the early 90s. So, uh, yeah, Ask Catch on Pokemon TV show. Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Squirtle and Charmander. Super geeky, I know, but one of my first loves with Pokemon. So when I seen this SH figure arts, Ash Catch on, I had to get him and then I managed to get some of these as well. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to be collecting loads of uh, um, Pokemon figures. That was just a bit of nostalgia. Uh, but for now, because there's nothing on that shelf, Ash can have the shelf to himself, but that probably will get took over by Marvel Legends. Moving over to uh, this section. Now again, all of these boxes, they're not empty. Every single one of these boxes actually has the figures in it. I just haven't got round to uh, displaying them. Like AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. Um, obviously I've got Demon King, I brought him loose. That's why he's sort of posed himself. Two of my favourite, the Brothers of Destruction, um, Undertaker and Kane. Don't know why they've got the Tag Team Championships. I did buy them for the New Day, but I haven't opened the New Day yet. A couple of my favourite wrestlers, Chris Jericho in the jacket. I need to get, I have actually got the Jericho, uh, the You Made the List Jericho, but Rolando, my good friend, is whole, keeping it safe for me in the US of A. Kevin Owens, one of my favourite wrestlers. Um, but yeah, so all of these figures, I'm not going to go through them all. Let me move these back up. Dean Ambrose, another one of my favourites. But yeah, all of these figures, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, The New Day, Brock, Finn Balor, Cactus Jack, aka Mick Foley, because I love Mick Foley, uh, Shaman Man, and my favourite tag team of all time, the Dudley Boys. Uh, so yeah, just some, I want to get, so let me know if you do know, uh, like I want to get a ring that isn't, the actual authentic size ring, because that won't fit on the shelf. But I just want to get a normal little ring that I can put on the shelf, um, that I can display some figures um, for my WWE collection. So yeah, does anyone know if you can get like a normal shelf, a uh, normal sized ring for a shelf that isn't one of those that break up? Um, I just want a little ring that isn't the authentic one, because that will not fit. But yeah, Vin Balor. And then uh, let's put these guys back. But I've got more WWE figures as well, just in the box, um, just waiting to be displayed. As I said, every single one of these boxes has the figure in. Um, so what else? These are just empty boxes. I'm not even going to show you how many empty boxes. I've literally got a cupboard full of empty Marvel Legend boxes. Let's jump straight back to the top because I heard something fall. So I didn't get this far. There's the knockoff um, MCU um vision obviously we haven't got an mcu vision yet hopefully we get one infinity war but for now the knockoff vision is going to have to do hiding in the back of the display anthony mackie as have sam wilson aka the falcon i did love this figure one of my most anticipated 
figures when I started collecting was getting my own Falcon. And there he is, soaring hot, high, excuse me, on the shelf. These are the guys that fall over. So uh, this was obviously both MCU, Ant-Man and Giant-Man, different outfits of course, but uh, hopefully we'll get an updated outfit. I did want the SH figure arts um, Ant-Man, uh, but I didn't get him, unfortunately. But yeah, look at that is the size of our modern day Giant-Man for Marvel Legends. And this is the Toy Biz Holy Grail, as in the Sentinel himself with his tentacles. Um, and yeah, Mezco Punisher, just chilling. I've, I'm gutted, because in my Mezco Punisher, while I was moving my display, I've lost the bullet effect for his gun. So now my Mezco Punisher has got no bullet effect. So if anyone has the bullet effect they want to sell me, um, let me know, as I will pay handsomely for a tiny bullet effect, because I'm a completionist and I don't like missing parts. Um, I'm usually very organized, but that one slipped um, my grasp. But yeah. Best builder figure in Marvel Legends history, Toy Biz or Hasbro, doesn't matter. Sentinel wins hands down, and I'm going to get another Sentinel. I want two Sentinels on this shelf, uh, but for now, it's just the one. So yeah, I think that's it, people. That is uh, the display. Again, I've tried not to edit. Oh, and look, he's fat already. I've tried to not to edit, and this is very, very raw uh, sort of showing of the display. Um, I do have other figures. Um, like in boxes again I've got these guys the 12 inch versions um, and I've got lots of figures in boxes as in Marvel Legends that are just not displayed again you're not going to be able to see very well because there's no lighting down here but um, let's see if I can get some lighting but there's just boxes of figures some AIM agents and Taskmaster and a couple of others but yeah I will just get everything displayed eventually, but for now, that is your lot, people. Um, so yeah, that's the display in my living room. I do have other bits and bobs scattered around my house. Um, here's a funny example. Here's hanging off my light. <laughs> uh, Spider-Man saving Mary Jane on some custom made webs. Don't know what's going on with these two but th this is literally just dangling from my light which is stupid uh but i quite like it and then you'll see in the background um simpson's house lego it's gone a bit blurry and lots of dvds but that could be for another day that could be for another day so yeah that's the main display people anyway any questions leave them in the comments and i will happily answer but i'm sure i will give you another uh, display update in a few months time because uh, there's still plenty of room, plenty of boxes. So yeah. Pow, so I hope you enjoyed. Again, it was only just one little setup as I can't display all over my house, but hopefully that display will get a lot, lot better. Uh, I do have a few of the figures and stuff scattered around the house, which I might show off eventually as well. Uh, but yeah, for now, I hope you enjoyed. Any questions about the dioramas or whatnot, please let me know. I told you, um, my next video is a Q&A video. So ask all your questions in this video, in the comments of this video, and in the next video, I will answer them. And of course, give the person asking that question a special shout out and um, so yeah as always people make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that like button leave a question in the comments and I shall see you on the next one pal